All right, what's up? You stink butts back with another video talking more about SEO, blogging, and Google. Boo! Everybody goes, boo, Google. I'm not booing Google. I'm not doing anything with Google. Google's just Google's just doing Google. But we're going to talk some about that. If you don't know, my name is Rob. I'm just some bozo that likes talking about SEO and blogging. I may or may not actually know what I'm talking about, but I enjoy the conversation. So if you're like me and you just enjoy the conversation and you're fine with me not being a know-it-all I'm your guy. Hit subscribe. Let's get into a couple of things. So I wanted to point out that we are now well beyond the 30-day mark from when we all thought that this update was going to be done. It's like maybe 10 days past. Now, I made a video, maybe it was last week, saying that I thought that there's a really good chance that we're going to see the volatility actually after the update was ended. And I was really just mostly basing that off of a similar update that happened last year that thrashed me. And the day that it ended, I shot up pretty pretty good. So, you know, maybe it was just wishful thinking on my part, but I also thought it was interesting that now we're seeing some volatility finally after maybe like seven or eight days uh, over in the SERP. So maybe a little bit of an indication that something's actually going on. My prediction is this is going to end by Tuesday, that this update is going to be over by Tuesday. Of course, predictions are easy when you admittedly don't know what you're talking about. So if, if I'm right, I'm going to use that as a uh, proof that I do know what I'm talking about. And if I'm wrong, I'm just going to go, I told you. I told you, I didn't know what I was talking about, but seen a little bit of action over there. Here's what I really wanted to get into. And I think that this was bigger than most people made this out to be. So there, there was a post that Barry made over on X. I'll link to Barry down below. It was a, from his article on his website, seoroundtable.com, where if we actually look at it, let's talk about Google explains why it shows Reddit and, and th forum threads in search so often. And I don't know if I missed it, but like I hadn't seen anybody from Google actually one recognizing and acknowledging that there was a shit ton of <laughs> forums, specifically Reddit and Quora, I hadn't seen any acknowledgement of that. But two, of course, then, uh, secondarily, why uh, they weren't saying why that was happening, right? Neither of those things. It was almost like their head was in the sand. We were like, hey, this is what's going on here. Now, I think that there were people that thought this was intentional, that like, well, there, this is an absolute move, especially with that cooperation between Reddit and Google that got announced shortly thereafter this stuff started to happen. But then there was those of us in the blogging community who got totally uh, booty spanked from the HCU last year that we thought, well, maybe this is just like a temporary thing. Maybe this is just like an in-betweener. It's like something that's like, it won't be here forever. It's just, it's holding a spot until Google figures out what the piss, what the poop it's going to do. Well, Danny Sullivan, Google search liaison, has actually acknowledged that it's not a fluke that this isn't a holder in the meantime, it's legit. So there was this whole kind of thread here where, um, so Lily Ray over on X basically says, why are we seeing all of this stuff? Uh, discussions and forums above EEAT type of articles. Uh, clearly how Reddit is being overtaken by affiliate. Okay, and so she goes down and basically says a little bit more of like, you know, we've been doing it a certain way. There basically is, why is this happening? Well, this, so then Danny Sullivan from Google chimes in uh and, and of course we'll send feedback to the ranking team which is sort of getting silly at this point like okay okay um let's go right here why does google show it so often in quotes from danny i know i also know that some of the seo folks who tend to be vocal on this platform which by the way a little bit of stank on that a little bit of like sauce that danny gave like but I really like this this like seeing more forum content in our search results. But actual searchers seem to like it. They proactively seek it out. It makes sense for us to be showing it to keep the search results relevant and satisfying for everyone. So what he's saying there is like that it's purposeful what they are currently doing. That the HCU of 2023 isn't a fluke. That they're doing this because in their opinion... This is what people are searching for whenever they go to website or to go, go to Google. They're typing something in. They're not looking for individual niche sites. They're looking for forums. Now, listen, I can buy it for Reddit. I can buy that because I do that, right? I do that sometimes too. I do it quite a bit. I know a lot of people that do that. I buy it for Reddit. But Quora, who searches for who? You know how people end up on Quora by accident because they don't know any better. Nobody is searching out Quora and going like, Quora's got my answer. Now, Quora's got some answers, but nobody's going to it on purpose. So it's a little bit hard for me, I think, to buy the idea that 
both Reddit and Quora are being placed there because people searched it out. Now, they might have been searching out general forums, and Google eventually just was like, well, let's throw Quora in there and see how it does. Like, let's see if we can get Quora boost. It's a forum, but not necessarily because people were looking for it, but because it's just a forum. They're thinking, well, people just like that. Let's give them more of that thing. It can't be just Reddit. We can't give them the only forum is Reddit. Let's give them another forum. And Quora all of a sudden (laughs) wakes up one day, September 18th of last year, and they're like, let's go. Let's go, brother. So I'd be curious you guys' thoughts on this. I, I think that this didn't get the wow that it should have gotten, but it was an acknowledgement. And uh, it was actually not what I was hoping that what they were going to say, even though I think some part of my heart knew it. You know, if you're somebody that got hit by the September 2023 HCU, there's probably some part of you that was just like, look, they're doing this. It's, it's either a mistake. Surely they don't want their SERPs to look like this. Or it's just a placeholder until they actually figure out what they're going to do. But it's none of those things. It's not a fluke. It's not a mistake. This is intentional on their part because their data, or at least what they're saying their data says, is that people want this. Now, there's a little bit of a conspiracy along with that, too. It's like, maybe, what if what if they actually don't want that? What if this is all just now part of the partnership and people are, Google's trying to convince people they want that. Like, hey, you want that. You want that, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You dirty little blogger. <laughs> You dirty, you stinky little blogger. Ooh, you want to forum? I bet you do. Oh, you seem like you'd like. Trying to talk dirty about forums and blogging. I think it translated. I think it went really well. So anyways, this is what I want to show you. And I'd be curious y'all's feedback, y'all thoughts on, on this. Is this a surprise to you at all? Or had you already sort of just emotionally chalked it up that like this is this is a real thing that's happening? Because I'll be honest, for me, there was a part of me that was very realistic about what was going on. But there was a part of me that also thought, like, it just looks bad. Like, the SERPs just look bad. Surely Google doesn't want that. But ultimately, in the end, they're going to try to do what's going to make them the most money. And I would think that that means that whatever gets them the most eyeballs and the highest uh, amount of users using their search engine. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just some guy who got spanked. My website's still dead. Uh, I lost more traffic. I think that I saw yesterday I had 12 hits on my website down from 1,700 to 12 hits on my website. So pretty cool. Uh, I have pivoted to some Facebook stuff. I'm actually getting ready to go on holiday. So I'm going to take a a week off and just go and get tanked for about seven to 10 days. Thanks you all so much for watching. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but if you enjoy talking about it, I'm your guy. Hit subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video. Keep your heads up out there. Let me know if anything's working. I'd be curious about that too. Let all of us know if something's working. You dirty little blogger. Ooh, tell us if you... Tell us if you want some. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.